Welcome. Howdy. I have a few ideas I'd like to share with you and see what you think. Now, as you know, I'm into nature for a lot of things. And nature never really does anything just out of the blue. It always does something for a reason. For instance, the lion has big fangs, claws, strength. And the antelope has speed. So when you have male and female, they put into the male in the primeval cortex that they must protect the female. The female must survive. They branded that into the male. Otherwise, he may just kill her and eat her. Hmm, tasty. Nature also gave the female the attractiveness the man likes. I mean, it wouldn't do anything for an aardvark, say, but the man likes the female form. Well, a fit one, if you can find one. You see, in nature, they kind of like balance it out if it can. Because let's face it, the female doesn't have the size and strength that a man has, even though females will tell you different. So they have to put something in there to stop the man from taking her out. So did they make the female more intelligent than the male? No, I think you'll find in statistics that there's more intelligent males than there is females. I mean, highly intelligent males, that is. And once again, females will tell you different. But there's something else about a female that is a bit strange and hard to comprehend. But if you think about all the females you've known, and um, the females I've known, they've all been a bit samey, a bit bland, actually. There's been a few live wires, but mostly they're all about the same. And I'm talking about their personality. And what got me started thinking about this is because the amount of males I talk to that have been married for quite a few years or had a long-term girlfriend for quite a few years and then they got divorced or split up and they saw this female or heard about this female going with another man a little while later and the man was nothing like what she's supposed to have liked and the female was completely different also personality wise as well and this was hard for the man to sort of comprehend that this was actually a different person now and not somebody he was with six months ago and there's a word bandied around every now and then calling females chameleons well i'm not an expert of course it's just observation for me but maybe a survival thing that was given to the female is not really having any set personality any set character so when she sees a potential mate she fills in that personality and character to fit the mate that she's talking to or she's near and over time she writes in the character and personality that she thinks will fit with that male but if something happens like uh, a death or divorce or they just split up then she goes back to this bland mode waiting for the next guy to come along so she can fill in another character and personality the female doesn't know she's doing it, it's just nature's input. Now, of course, on the other hand, I have no reason or any reason for nature-wise the way the females are acting now, because it's basically self-destruct, and nature would never try to self-destruct a female. So obviously some wires have got crossed. The thing is, when I was thinking about the personality changing on females so drastically from one guy to the next, I can actually remember a few girls I saw that happen, even one I was with. And I remember thinking at the time, I didn't think she liked that. So what do you guys out there think of that theory of mine? Could there be something to it? I know that men are very strong characters and personality. You see a man, and then years and years later, the man is just the same. Slightly changed, but really, basically, the same personality, the same character. Anyway, let me know in your comments below. And if your comments disappear, you know I didn't do it. And if you can hear any wind in the background, we're having a bit of a storm at the moment with 70, 80 mile an hour winds. So it's batting down the hatches.